Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. So you guys already know the drill. It is my first upload of the new month. So of course, I'm going to be doing a favorites video. And for this video, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be my May favorites. I honestly feel like May just came and went. Anyways, I have quite a few products to share with you guys today because I did try out quite a few things in May. And of course, let's go ahead and dive into my favorites. All right, so if you follow me on Instagram, then you guys know that in May or in early May I took a trip to Minnesota my sister-in-law was actually graduating from her university so we went out there to support her it was a really quick like weekend thing so it was really really nice to be out there and see Minnesota because I've never been to Minnesota ever um, and one of the things that we did was we went to the Mall of America because that's one of the things that you really should do if you go to Minnesota that mall is humongous there's like super overwhelming there's a ton of stores but honestly it's pretty awesome and one of the things that I actually checked out there was the Morphe store I've never been to the Morphe store because I don't have one near me so usually I have to order from Morphe if I want anything from there so the fact that I went out to the Morphe store I was like oh this is what the good life is like so that was a really really cool experience and I picked up quite a few things from the Morphe store and I just want to talk about some of the things that I'm absolutely obsessed with that I've been using all month long so the first thing that I want to talk about here or I guess I'll group them together are these lip glosses these are the Morphe lip glosses this one is in the shade flower crown and this one is in Freebird. now i'm showing you both of these because i've been obsessed equally obsessed with both of these all month long i'm wearing Freebird right now and as you guys can see it gives me more of like a brown sort of lip and i absolutely am living for it i love it so much definitely check these out they don't give you that nasty like butthole white lip like that some lip glosses give you where you have them on for a long time and then they end up settling and it gives you like this really weird like white film it is the most most disgusting thing in the world we do not appreciate no trifling white film lip glosses around here and these do not do that I've worn them for hours and hours and hours at a time these are really really good they're not super sticky they don't have like any scent or anything that's like gonna be too fragrant or give you like you know sensitivity the smell is honestly so faint that it almost feels like it's fragrance free um so I'm gonna show you guys quick swatches of both of them so this is flower crown and this right here is Freebird. So yes, like I said, Flower Crown is definitely more of like a light peachy nude. And then Freebird is definitely more of like your taupey-ish, kind of like brownish, but still very neutral um, lip. I absolutely love them. They are sheer. They're not super duper opaque, but that's what I love about them. And they do have a really nice amount of shine too. So they're beautiful lip glosses. But you guys, honestly, I can't say enough good things. I've been wearing them all month long. If you've seen me with a glossy lip, it's been one of these, guaranteed. So I'm thinking I'm just going to show you guys all of my Morphe favorites that I've tried out this month now so that I can move on to other things after and not keep coming back to Morphe. The next thing that I loved that I picked up at the Morphe store is this bronzer. Now I've been on the hunt for some new bronzers because I feel like I keep using the same ones over and over again. So this is the Brontor bronzer plus contour in the shade Celebutant. Celebutante? Celebutante? You know what? whatever one of the things that i love about it too is the packaging it has such nice sleek packaging and it has a little mirror which is such a bonus love that for me so here it comes with a bronzer and it also comes with a contour shade i like these because they do pull a little bit more of on the warm side i definitely wouldn't use this to contour because as you guys know and even if you don't you're supposed to be using shades that are a little bit more cool toned more ashy if you're trying to contour because obviously the concept of contouring is you're supposed to be creating shadows and when you are using shades like this pull a lot more on the warmer side you're definitely not going to be contouring you're going to be bronzing so i really do love these two bronze i'm kind of like mixing my brush like simultaneously into both i'm not really picking one over the other um this one does have just the slightest amount of shimmer in it and this one is strictly matte so i feel like when you kind of mix your brush in there you kind of get like a nice little concoction of a subtle shimmer with a lot of color payoff so it's really really good they're really pigmented and they're just really beautiful bronzers they have quite a few different shades but this was the one that I really wanted to try out the most and this is the one that I picked up and I absolutely love it even though I haven't really used it that much on camera trust and believe I have not put this down so the last thing that I've been up like literally obsessed with all month long when it comes to Morphe is the Morphe sponge y'all I'm so late I'm so freaking late I'm almost embarrassed to talk about this right now at this point this late in the game honestly I'm a disgrace I'm a disgrace of a beauty blogger so you guys just rag on me all you want just just go ahead I'm gonna take it just um say whatever you want just say it just say it honestly I deserve all the critiques I can get because I cannot believe I'm now in May of 2019 trying out this 
sponge like, like honestly this is one of the best sponges i've ever tried out love this beauty blender who honestly one thing about me is i don't like to invest in beauty blenders beauty blenders are an investment twenty dollars for a sponge is just ridiculous to me it's redonkulous i just don't want to do it i can't do it beauty blender if you want to send me some beauty blenders of course i'm going to use them but of course like when it comes to buying them i'm just like but that's twenty dollars though for a sponge that you're gonna end up replacing because it's gonna end up breaking and fraying over time anyways it's just a lot it's a lot to deal with my emotions can't handle that I'm always looking for good sponge alternatives you guys know I'm obsessed with the equal tools one because like I said I just don't like buying beauty blenders so this is a really good one it's only eight dollars I should have picked up another one so I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't pick up two because I'm so picky with sponges that I can buy with two of these that's a beauty blender right there that's what I love about it it's a good price and these are amazing amazing it's just honest it's just a perfect sponge if you haven't tried it out yet you definitely should alright guys so humongous shout out to the Alamad Cosmetics Colorete Brush Trio mine is in the shade medium tan I got this in my May Boxy Charm and I've been living living for this trio i absolutely love it i was actually really hoping that i got this one because i think they have a lighter one as well and the lighter one looks a little bit too light for my skin complexion so i love this one i've been obsessed with these two shades right here more specifically right now i have a blend of this one and this one and i have it all over my cheek area even a little bit on my nose right here it's such a pigmented beautiful blush honestly you cannot go wrong they're so long lasting this makeup has been sitting on my face for now maybe like a good seven hours because I was out and about all day long just got back home and I wanted to film this and honestly you guys I did not reapply this blush this is this is how the blush has looked all day long after a hot sweaty day because it was maybe like I want to say almost 80 degrees today My mama definitely sweat today and honestly this blush is still looking really good it is just such a beautiful blush so if you're thinking about whether or not you need to buy this Think no more, sis. You gotta buy it. So if you are wondering why my eyes look so beady today, it's because I'm not wearing lashes. Because if I was to be wearing lashes, I'd be wearing these lashes. So all month long, I've been wearing the ESG Cosmetics Lashes in the style Chismosa. These were the only lashes that I picked up from this brand, but you best believe I'm about to go over there and buy some more. They are a smaller brand, but that's what I love about it. I love trying out a ton of like smaller brands that nobody really uses because I feel like we give so much hype and so much attention and so much love to these big brands that already have like made a huge name for themselves and we kind of forget to really do some searching on other brands that really are on the up and up and just indie brands that really deserve so much recognition and this is just one of them i really have been loving these lashes and i've probably worn them about a good six seven times already they're definitely very wispy but they're also extremely comfortable they have the perfect amount of fluff but they're also not super stiff to the point where like when you apply them they just don't want to work with you they're really really flexible they're beautiful lashes they're affordable as well and honestly you guys have to check out their Instagram I will leave it linked down below and like I said I chose to not wear lashes today but if I did I would have those on all right guys so huge shout out to dose of colors in the shade coral crush this is a liquid lipstick i've been loving this liquid lip now i don't know if you guys have watched my ulta haul from many many moons ago but i picked it up at that time um and i just kind of like let it really sit there and i never really tried it out or i i, I did try it but i never actually wore it out and i really love this shade now one of the reasons that i love it is it's not a true red so if you're looking for a true red this is not the shade for you however this is such a beautiful red with kind of like a coral twist to it those two colors has one of the best most comfortable formulas especially if you have lips with a lot of lines like naturally my lips do have a lot of lines um, so it's a little bit tedious sometimes I kind of stray away from liquid lipsticks for that reason because I just feel like they all settle into my lines and they just make my lips look real crusty you know and these don't do that it makes your lips look so even so beautiful every single time that I wore this the four times that I did I got a compliment everybody stopped me and they were like what are you wearing on your lips it's so pretty I had this lady stop me and say your lips look so perfect honey <laughs> You gotta check it out if you haven't. Like I said, I think I already said it, but this is the shade Coral Crush. All right, so I kinda wanna give a half shout out to this. Not a full shout out, but a half shout out. Watch, I'm gonna tell you right now. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I was looking for one from the drugstore that was really, really good because all the setting sprays that I use are not from the drugstore. So I wanted one from the drugstore that was really something that I could really count on because you guys know I love drugstore more than anything in this world when it comes to makeup. I know I've heard so many good things about the Milani Make It Last, so I wanted to try it out. Now, I will say what I love about it, I'll start with the good it's a really good setting spray like it really does what it's supposed to do it makes your makeup last as the name suggests make it last it does make it last it's true however what the hell is this like watch hold on I feel like you guys can't see that I, I can't I can't even show you guys exactly what this does but honestly 
What the hell? Like, the way this sprays is just unacceptable. This is the most violating setting spray I've ever tried. It's really disrespectful. Like, honestly, can we get a mist, Milani? Can we get a little bit something softer? Like, damn, can you give me levels? Like, this is like on a level 10, the way this sprays. It just like squirts. It doesn't even spray. It squirts. It's a squirter, okay? <laughs> I got a real issue with the way this squirts. Like I said, if you're looking for a good setting spray from the drugstore, I would recommend this one, but with a grain of salt. Because honestly, prepare to have your face soaked. Prepare to be disrespected by a setting spray because the way this just comes out is just redonkulous. It's way too strong. I'm never prepared for the way this comes out, ever. I'm always like, like that ugly like surprise face like one like where one of your eyes rolled all the way back in your head and like your mouth's wide open but it does what it's supposed to do it makes your makeup look amazing and it makes it last and it makes it settle nicely and and that's why i love it that's honestly why i'm talking about it today it doesn't have a super strong fragrance it's not sticky it's 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 a really great product it's just we gotta fix the way this squirts, okay? Milani, please do better. However, I will say that on a hot summer day where you just don't give a crap and you just, you wanna feel like a nice refreshing squirt on your face, this is a good thing to try. All right, so kind of random, but I know it's definitely worth mentioning because I have had some questions on this, but a lot of you guys seem to ask me how I do my buns because you guys always see me with like the sleek, like bun looking thing, which by the way, this is a whole story in itself if you guys watch my... Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree makeup video. Um, I briefly mentioned that I'm on the curly girl method right now, which is basically when you cut heat out and you try to revitalize and you try to bring back your natural hair. And my natural hair is kind of like 3B, 3C curls. And honestly, you guys, it's been a lot of years of me completely frying my hair, damaging my hair, just mistreating my hair, and I've like lost most of my curls. And honestly, I just wanna bring them back to life. I've been looking for hairstyles that aren't too awkward, where, where I could really kinda just have my hair in a deep conditioning state, really making sure that it's like getting all the nutrients that it needs and it isn't being mistreated. And the best way that I can do that is really deep conditioning it in the form of buns, like this one that you guys see me do right here. And honestly, you guys probably wouldn't even know this unless I told you but I'm in the process of deep conditioning my hair right now actually after this video I'm gonna go shower and take my deep conditioner out and then style my hair but yes nonetheless I'm in the process of deep conditioning my hair right now and I've been using this pretty much I want to say like weekly I've been using the Palmer's coconut oil with vitamin E deep conditioning protein pack um, deep conditioner so this is what it looks like right here mine is actually open because I have a little tiny bit left I wasn't able to use all of it today and this is actually my last pack that I have I actually picked these up at Target they're only like a dollar fifty or maybe even two dollars but these are amazing you guys I've been using them all month long and I really can feel a difference in just the way that my hair looks it looks a whole lot more hydrated now these are protein packs if your hair is already really healthy you don't want to do something like this weekly because I was reading that protein it could end up kind of like making your hair look a little bit too to, like it, it can make it feel a little bit filmy like it has too much film on it and it could also even dry your hair out this is just my research um, but I was reading that if you are in the process of trying to restore your hair for the first month it's really really good if you're constantly doing protein treatments at least once a week to restore your hair strength and elasticity which of both I lack it's made with coconut oil it has no sulfates no parabens no flit, fit, phthalates phthalates how do you say that word? No mineral oil, no gluten, no dyes, which is really important, especially if you are on the curly girl method. You don't want to use anything that has sulfates because that's really not something you should be using. So it's made with a lot of really good stuff. Like I said, I ju I've just been doing them weekly for the past maybe like four weeks. And honestly, I've been noticing a difference in just the overall appearance of my hair. It looks a whole lot less dull and it just feels a lot softer. And I love that. And what I love about this too is it really just holds a really solid bun. Like this bun feels like I have at least least 10 pounds of gel on it right now and I don't have any gel on it I do this when my hair is like not fully wet and damp I do it when it's maybe I want to say 75% dry and I apply this on it and then I use a brush and I just kind of like soothe everything out so it's nice and flat I've been loving it and it smells like coconuts too. If you love the smell of coconuts, girl, you're gonna love this. I love me some coconuts. By the way, if you guys wanna see how I do kind of like a bun like this or similar to this, stay tuned for my upload this upcoming Friday because it's gonna be a get ready with me and I'm gonna show you guys how I use that protein pack to style my hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my hair in, my, in that video. So. 
stay tuned for that video if you want to see how I do these kinds of buns. So guys, that's going to wrap up my May Beauty Favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And of course, let's go ahead and dive into the songs because y'all know I got some. Because I don't care when I'm with my baby, yeah. All the bad things disappear. You're making me feel like maybe I am somebody. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100%. But you holding me back. This is everybody's ratchet song right now. No te desesperes que esta noche yo te robaré. Yo sé que tú quieres tú tranquila que te lo daré. No te desesperes que esta noche yo te so that completes my May Beauty and Song Favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had some fun kicking it with me today. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And of course, hit the little bell and the like button. That way you will be notified every single time I upload a new video so you don't ever miss out on the good good. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.